Yo guys and how are you doing? Tommy Roney here bringing you another Pro Clubs build and obviously if you came from my goalkeeper build then welcome to the right back left back build. Um, I think this is you know pretty simple. The right back and the left back are pretty similar so you know both of them you can do in the same video and you'll get the same kind of result guys. And I'll be bringing you this with kind of a bit of uh, joy and enjoyment because guys I'll be honest here. Right back, left back is one of the most fun uh, positions I've used in pro clubs and I've played so many games this year and it's a brilliant, brilliant position and there's so many ways to do it. Um, never go above 5 foot 11 I'd say, never go below 5 foot 7 I'd say, you know, it's between those and I play 5 foot 8, 5 foot 9 depending what I want to bring, pace, um, strength, that kind of stuff. <clears throat> Obviously it's not the same as 6 foot 7 and all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Guys, you don't want to make a 6 foot 7 right back, trust me. So. Um, yeah, guys, around 5 foot 9, that, that kind of weight, that's perfectly fine. This is the important part, guys. When you make a left back or a right back, make sure they're on wing back playing style because it gives you more pace and more dribbling. And you really need that. Um, the right back doesn't give you the same thing. It doesn't show up on this stat sheet either, on this attribute sheet. So you will need to make sure that you put it on wing back. Same if you're on the left side, you want to put it on wing back. That will be the best option for you guys. I really mean it. Um, you'll be a lot faster and a lot better. Guys, let's get into the skill tree. Here we are guys in the skill tree. What you want to be adding is very simple. You want that jumping to go up, right? Strength, you see, well, it won't really put it up too much. Do you know what I mean? So I, I keep away from the strength part. Um, for me, second wind is super important. I mean, some people say, look, if I have 90 stamina, I can control myself, you know, and if you can control yourself, perfectly fine. If you can't and you're finding yourself with low stamina at the end of the game because you're running up and down the pitch and you're still getting used to the position, second wins for you. But um, at this point, I don't use it. Um, I mean, 90 stamina is a ton of stamina. I don't need any more. Reactions, aggression, everything's good. Um, you know, defending, I mean, come on, guys. Uh, standing tackle, you want to go up so you don't put that in, but you do this. You don't want the standing tackle to go down. It's such an important tackle. Um, so I wouldn't put it down. I would just keep it as it is, guys, with this. Um, well, these skills added for the defending part. Uh, dribbling is quite important, but I'll come back to that in a second. Because first I want to talk to you about passing. Swerve pass, very important. Focus, very important. Long passing, very, very important. All of this is very important, really. Um, I love putting myself to have a cross and focus. So if you guys don't want that, that's perfectly fine. But I love crossing. I'll be honest. I just love crossing. So that's why I put on every single time. And my teammates love it when I cross because, you know, when you put that curve and everything, like 95 curve, the ball literally just goes around everyone. It is absolutely OP. So I, that's, why, I, that's why I do that pass and upgrade. Pace, as always, guys, um, max that thing out. It is very important to max it out and then whatever you have left from dribbling, well, left for dribbling I should say, you put it on. Some people want to put the strength advanced focus, don't feel bad about doing that, it's perfectly fine. It's perfectly fine if you want to add the stamina advanced focus instead of the strength. Remember that this will limit what you can actually add in your dribbling, like to barely anything really. Um, then I would prioritize dribbling because that's very low. Agility and balance is very important though. This is the problem in the game. So therefore, that's why I don't add this extra stamina. Sometimes I even decide, you know what? I'll take away the jumping. And let's go for the agility and balance. Right? It's up to you at the end of the day. How you want to, you know, max that out, that side of things. But the last thing you do is dribbling. Because I really feel like, okay, yes, it is important that you're good on the ball. But, you know, if you want to be good on the ball, then put yourself 5 foot 7, 5 foot eight you know you'll be a lot better than five for nine five for nine is a really more defensive build rather than an attacking build but that's the way to go guys and obviously remember you can also limit your crossing if you're not really focused on that and your team if you're not focused on london it's perfect for your dribbling because you can literally go four star skills even and that's the build guys it's as simple as when it comes to right back left back i'll be bringing out more center back should be out next and i hope you guys enjoyed it see you next